y'all better come get one of these. <laughs> it's a wig. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. That is so cringy. Welcome back to your girl's YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe because I'm not going to do this intro thing every time. If you're new here, you know, I'm your girl for fashion, I'm your girl for hair, and I like to play in makeup. I'm no MUA, but I will, you know, play around in some makeup. So what are we doing today, y'all? The girlies have influenced me to go back to my high school self. Now, me in high school, I stayed with a bang, okay? In high school, it gave more of Ike Turner. You know how you had the bowl cut? I was the girl who used to want to wear her natural hair, but always had to get the bowl cut. Anne's was always split and some more. I just feel like bangs is something that I grow out of really quick. Like, I'll like it for maybe a week or two, and then I don't want anything to do with it anymore, okay? I have commitment issues when it comes to my hair. So we're gonna make a wig. So first things first, I'm gonna let you know what you're gonna need if you wanna try this look. Now the obvious, yes, you will need a mannequin head. I chose to use styrofoam, but you can also buy the quilted ones made out of fabric. Then of course, you're gonna need your bundles, also with the five by five lace closure, a mesh dome cap. I prefer mesh because it allows airflow throughout your wig and you don't wanna have no stinky scalp. You can use an elastic band once you're finished, but I opted out. You're going to need some T-pins to hold everything together. And then I use the measuring tape just to make sure that this is going to be my exact head circumference, which is 22 and a half. I like mine to be very snug so it can be as flat as possible. It will stretch out a little later. Right now, I'm just using the T-pins to secure my measurements to make sure that the cap does not move as I am stitching. Now, one thing about the styrofoam mannequin head, you are more than welcome to go and use the more sturdier ones. But what I've found from doing hair over the years, I feel like styrofoam heads fit the best when, you're, when you want to do a bang or you just want your wigs to be more so snug than have too much room left over. Because ain't nothing worse than a big ass wig. Big ass wigs were never in style. Like the ones that just sit out. And I've been a victim of a big ass wig myself on my lazy days, okay? If you've ever seen me with a big ass wig on or just look wide for no reason, it's because I was being lazy. But today we're not gonna be lazy, okay? We got time. This is the closure that I will be using. This is considered a five by five. And you want it to be five by five because when you go and do your bang, you're really only just gonna be taking a little bit of the closure and pulling it down because you don't want no big ass bang either. You just don't wanna be walking around here looking like a mushroom. You know, this is like a cheap closure that I bought from the beauty supply. I kinda of want my money back, um, but we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. I have another five by five closure, which is raw ending hair, and I'm not cutting this. Like this is the one that is from Mercy's Hair Extensions. I'll be making another wig on this one, but this is raw Indian hair. I'm adding some stuffing over my wig stand because the styrofoam heads are always a little too loose for their stand hooks. And yeah, this just plumps it up. You can also use rubber bands. Rubber bands are more uh, sturdy and secure. I thought about muting this and just letting y'all, you know, listen to my same old, same old sound. But let's get into this ASMR, okay?
as you can see, I started on one side and alternated each side just so I don't end up with any bubbles in my lace closure. The back is always going to be the last part of the lace closure that I'm going to sew down. Okay, boys and girls, so far all I've done is just sewn on the lace closure. Is it lined up with the wig cap? No. Is it gonna come off? Hell no. This is what we are looking like right now, and I am gonna start sewing on my wefts, starting right here. I like to sew in a U, so everything can fall towards the face. I don't like stuff really being pushed back. You know, that's just my preference. All right, y'all, so this is row number one. And since we don't want a big ass wig, we're gonna leave some space in between each trap. And I'm gonna start off by doing one finger width. So the next trap will begin right up here. I know I look a little crazy right now, but I had to put this wig on just to make sure my big old head can fit it in. I really just put this on to see how far now I wanted the bang to stop. And this closure is not even that long, y'all. It's only 10 inches. It's literally, I have the bare minimum to cut. I feel like the most natural look is to leave a slight middle part on the wig. So let's just go ahead and part down the middle. And then I'm gonna take a triangle, which will be my bang, because I don't want my bang to be too thick. So we're just gonna take, you know, this triangle section. I mean, you can take more if you want, but being that this closure is a little sketchy anyway, I'm just gonna blow dry all of this down, and then we're gonna, Cut her up, okay?